After last week's snowstorm, many of you are wondering if we could see another cold blast next month in February. Yeah, so let's bring in ABC 13 meteorologist Elise Smith. She's got the answers <laughs> on things like this. Yep. Elise, let's talk, Elise, let's talk about the polar vortex. Does it have anything to do with how cold it's been or kind of anything we can expect going forward? Oh, the polar vortex <laughs> just kind of gives me chills thinking about it. Actually, some good news this afternoon. Up to this point this winter, the polar vortex has actually been unusually strong and it'll likely stay that way heading into February. A quick refresher on the polar vortex. It's a phenomenon that develops every winter in the Arctic Circle. It's a circulation of very strong winds in the stratosphere, the layer above where we live and most weather occurs in the troposphere. And the current state of the vortex is strong, meaning it should trap and keep that frigid Arctic air in the North Pole. And it might seem counterintuitive to hear that the vortex is strong, so it won't be cold, but that's exactly what we want. Now, its orientation is somewhat tilted over North America, but forecasters with NOAA say that shouldn't uh, influence our weather much at this point. And looking ahead to next month, a sign that the polar vortex could wake up is if we see temperatures warm in that same region. It's called sudden stratospheric warming. That allows for the vortex to move more drastically, potentially sending colder air into the United States, like what happened during the winter freeze of 2021. I mean, I bring it up all the time. I feel like, <laughs> That's a real sore spot for me in my house. Oh, I know. All right, yeah. well, speaking of which, we know obviously this snowstorm was much different than that freeze of 2021, yes. but did the polar vortex have anything to do with the snow coming here or southeast Texas at all? Actually, no. So the polar vortex up to this point has been very quiet. Again, it's been strong. So the polar vortex actually isn't uh, responsible for any of the uh, cold weather events that we've seen here in southeast Texas and really across the country. And that's another difference between the winter freeze of 2021 and our rare January snowstorm we saw last week. The winter storm and the cold weather that stretched across the southeast and the Gulf Coast was actually because of a blocking pattern over Alaska. That's what sent the cold weather our way. Plus, this was a regional snowstorm just for southeast Texas in the state. The polar vortex in, fe in the February freeze of 2021 sent an Arctic front across the state and much of the country, which is more typical of a polar vortex event. So last week's snowstorm, that can serve as a reminder that we can get cold weather here in southeast Texas without the polar vortex. Now some long range computer models are hinting at another cool down maybe after next weekend, but it's still too early to tell if that could actually happen. <laughs>